Hi, welcome to Space Crafty Creation. Thanks for taking time out every day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. Today, we are altering one of the notebooks. I have done a couple of these before, so I thought I would take you on this journey again. And it is just a composition book. I got bubbles on the front of this one. I did not notice that. The paint like chipped or something. So I thought I would take you along and we would do this one together. So for the notebook, you need three pieces of paper um, using 12 by 12s. I think you can get away with the eight and a half by 11s, but you'll need a couple more sheets um, than um, what is there. I tend to do just these, uh, the 12 by 12s, and it's three sheets and then the notebook. So well, the first thing I do is I'm gonna fold this in half, just like that, and you can cut it. I just find it easier to do this and then rip it down gently down that center and these are going to be inside the notebook so we're going to start with the back of our notebook and it helps to push that down you can hear it I'm using Aline's glue and you want to have your paper with you so you know about how far over to go and you're just gonna apply that glue in that line all the way down and over and get as close to those as you can with your glue and you wanna go all the way down and get that as much saturated with glue as you can. Like I said, I'm using the Eileen's glue so it might not be easy to see on the page. And then that ripped page, ripped part, we're gonna to put towards the inside of our the outside of our notebook here. Grab my bone folder and we're just gonna spread that glue along the edges and everything pushing down just like that. Then we're gonna come back we're gonna flip our book got it open and I mean closed not open. We're gonna tap our scissors against that edge. That top blade is gonna be our guide and we're just gonna remove that paper. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here, hold it closed, use our top of our scissors as our guide, that top blade, butt it against it. And then we can put those into our scrap bin. Um, we'll use them, I will use them probably on, mem um, I forgot what they're called, master boards. Okay, so we have that all set. We're gonna turn our attention to the back now. And we're going to decide how we want this to look. I prefer to have the design on the outside because I just think it makes it look prettier. So it will go right up against that line there. So we're going to take our glue. Ooh, that side's pretty too. But we're themed on this. I didn't realize that side was that gorgeous. Mm. Okay. We're going to keep the theme we're going with. We're going to line our glue right up against that edge there and up against the other edges all the way around. And we are going to saturate it with glue again. This side is absolutely gorgeous. Now I wish I was doing a double-sided notebook. <laughs> So you can see how pretty that baby is and we're using wet glue you can do double-sided tape but I prefer wet glue for these only because you can move it around and we have a little bit showing through on our composition book here but that's okay because we're gonna use some duct tape to create our new spine how pretty is that looking right oh I'm so mad about this so we're gonna Take our bone folder, go right across this here. It's gonna create our new crease for our pocket and whatnot on the inside. Give it a good push down. Before I glue this side, I like to open the book up, close the book, and then remove that excess paper. Again, we're butting our scissors up against that side. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because you're going through so much paper <laughs> so you can see I cut just a little bit there 
we've got over there. And then we're going to take our half circle punch. I'm not, not half circle, our circle punch. And we're gonna view where we want our circle to go. So just like that. And then we're gonna take our glue. And I like to put a bead of glue right here along that fold and then another one into the fold right there just to help it adhere and then we'll take our glue and we'll go right across here right across that top there and then right across the bottom here this is going to create a pocket for us just like that then we'll take our bone folder and we'll give it a good push down push down here and here and this is going to remove any excess glue plus help our glue move around just like that you can see I have a little bit of the paper showing so we're just going to go ahead and use our scissors as a guide that top piece to remove that extra and then we'll take a look at this side we have a little bit there as well it's not a lot but it's just a little bit that it makes it look uneven and the best way to do that is to just let your scissors do the work kind of like shaving it down a little bit at a time and there it doesn't look uneven anymore so we're going to do the same process to the front. We're going to take our paper here, give us a guide where we're putting our glue right there. We're going to go all the way down that line there. And just like we did before, we want to get as close to this piece as possible with our glue. And then get that glue to move around. And like I said, you can use double-sided tape. If your notebook has a glossy surface, I highly recommend using the double-sided tape. We're gonna take that folded side again. This time I'm gonna try and match it up with the bottom here. Get it right up against there. And we'll just push it around, have some fun with it. Such a pretty paisley print and then we'll repeat the steps that we did for the back again and to angle our scissors so that that top guides us just like that how pretty that's gonna look and we're gonna take our beautiful paper and we're gonna go right up against that again and I'm going in circular motions because if I do a drag, all that glue is going to beat up at the back. And I just realized it's beating up at the back like that. It's so pretty though. I love altering the covers of notebooks. I think that they're, they're kind of drab. And altering them is so pretty. I used to cover it with um, paper bags and then draw on it when I was in high school. We had to hand in our notebooks. And I'm lining that up again. And then we'll push down, grab our bone folder. Move that glue around. And like we did the other side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create that little crease here for us so that we don't have to do that at, um, a fight with it. Oh, did we leave that on there on the other side? No. What did I do with it? I don't know, but we're not going to leave this here. I don't want to show that. So we're going to go ahead and remove it. I think oh, I, I know what I did. I had turned my paper and I'm not sure where I got this paper for from 
but that's where the creator is. I don't know if it's going to show or not. So when I do the editing, if it's not shown, um, I will put it on there. It's kaisercraft.com.au. It's made in Australia. I think it might have come from like a thrifty haul maybe. I'm not sure exactly where I got it from. It might have been a thrifty haul. Like in the thrift store. Picked it up from one of them. Oh, it's looking so beautiful, right? So, so pretty. We're gonna create that little pocket spot there. And like we did before, we're gonna add glue here along that little piece. And then right in here, we're adding just a little bit of glue. And then right along here, and right along here. And I didn't do that squirrely thing. So it's done its lovely little thing there. Push it down. And then next we will go ahead and add the elastic closure. A lot of people have asked me to um, share that again, how I do the elastic closures. Sometimes your glue might come out there. Just run your finger along it and it will remove that. So we're all set with our glue. I didn't even need my paper towel this time. I thought I was going to. So you can see we have a little sliver again. So we're just gonna take our scissors and run it along there. It's looking gorgeous, right? Let's add our tape here. So I got this at Hobby Lobby and it's just like, I think they said it was masking tape, duct tape, I think, I think it was called masking duct tape or something like that. Does it say on the inside? It just says, get stuck on creativity, Hobby Lobby, 2020. So because I have a little bend there, we're gonna have to go a little bit higher and we're gonna go just like that. Grab my glue, I have tape scissors. They're, all I use it for is tapes because you get that residue left behind and they get gross. So we'll push that down and we're gonna flop it over and we're gonna push that down just like that and we're gonna run our fingers along the spine. Don't, I did recommend not using your bone folder because you're gonna alter the tape. Use your fingers. We're going to open it up and I take and run it right along there, cut it and then fold that piece up. It helps so much to have that piece folded up and out of the way. Your scissors don't stick to it anymore. It helps so much. So cut it as far as it's going to cut and then fold it. It's going to remove it completely and it will be so much easier to cut with. And there we have that notebook is looking gorgeous. And I just noticed that it's not, it doesn't close all the way. There's, it's misshapen right here. There's a, like a little piece there. It's a misshapen notebook. Look at that. <laughs> Can you see it? It's misshapen. It's not on my fold because we did that crease thing. So it's not on our fold. Hmm, looks like I get a notebook. <laughs> Alright, so I got my snaps. I'm not snaps, my eyelets. And we're going to create that closure. I've got my lovely tool here. Pop that. It's got a little lock on it keeps it from unlocking while it's in your drawer has these little like measurement things here love those because when you're doing your folders and whatnot you have that ability to repeat so you can punch there and then punch there using the measurement guide so I want to go in about half an inch with my elastic and we're doing the back 
So I want to go in from here, half an inch would be too small. So we're going to put it all the way back to the inch, just sliding it back. Oh, there's a little thread. So we're going to go in there and you can see that your notebook's going to slide right in just like that. No matter how far down we go, it's going to be an inch all the way in. So let's go about half an inch there and half an inch there. And I just realized I'm the wrong size. I wanted the big one, not the little one. So we're going to do that again. So we're going to slide it and we're going to punch right on that hole again. So we got a little bit of an odd shape because I moved my folder. But that's okay. That was better. <laughs> so just like that. Then we're going to take our eyelets and I am thinking burgundy. Because I kind of like burgundy. If I can find another burgundy. There we go. So we're going to take my eyelets. I only need two. Oh, that's not burgundy. That's brown. Brown will work even better. So it kind of looks like a little top hat, right? We're going to take the top hat and I like to put them on the outside, the prettier side. We're just going to pop that right into that hole like that. And then on here, we have this part here will rotate. It has two heads, so it has a really small one. You can see really, really tiny. And then it has a larger one there. That's the one we want for the large eyelids. Then it has multiple different sides. So what I did when I first got it is I took the packaging for some of the eyelids and I went through and I marked my paper and did one for each one so that I could see the type that it's going to do. And I want the brown because I want it to look like that. And I did that with this one too. The rose gold, rose bottom there, brown, will give that nice little raised edge. So you take this piece here, the little any part, that piece there, that is the part that's going to go on the nice side. And then we want brown. Find the brown. Is that my brown? That's my brown. So that part's going to go on the inside of your eyelet. That part, the flat part there is going to go on the inside of the notebook there. So pop that in. That's going to go here. And it'll tuck in. And then you got to turn it. It will tuck in like that. So it's going to go like that. You can hear a little lovely thing there and it's almost done. I got to do one more click because I tried it with one hand. I need to use both for this. <laughs> there we go. So you can see that side looks really pretty, right? It's got no metal shavings on it. Let's do one more. I'm going to go right in that flower too. It's going to hide perfectly with that flower, right? So again, that any part goes here on the nice part of the top hat, the brim, if you will. And then the flat piece is going to go on the outside of the top hat. So the top top, and it looks pretty, right? Then we've got our elastic, and this is the one I got in a haul. It, um, it's 25, I paid 25 cents a yard. Um, I think they call it mask elastic. It's really nice. So the way I do it is take my elastic and I'm going to stretch it, put it over the back of the notebook, bring it around to the front and hold it tight, hold tight on it and go a little bit out. Oh, and I just used my wrong scissors for that. Just like that. So I'm going to take these babies and we're going to go up in the inside of that hole like that. We're gonna go into that hole there. So like that, and then we're gonna flip it around. And we're gonna do, I call it like a slip knot, but it's not a slip knot. It's like the start of a square knot kind of thing. Pull tight, wrap your fingers around it, and then pull them through, just like that. 
and then pull it tight and that's going to give you a really nice closure and then I pop that back in that's why I do it that way because this is going to be on the inside of the notebook and you have that really pretty closure I'm just kind of bummed that it has that lovely crease there but now I get to have the notebook <laughs> It's really gorgeous really bummed on that I mean I have a guillotine cutter that will fix it but I don't want to I'll just admire having a new notebook and I love them I have so many so to finish it off I like to take the corner rounder and I do have this one and I have this one I got this one on Timu and it will do one sheet of paper at a time it's nice but one sheet of paper this one here will do a couple sheets but if you have a thicker piece it won't do them at all and I can't remember where I got this one I don't remember it's a no-name brand either I don't remember where I got it it is an amazing cutter but it only does a couple sheets at a time which is kind of a bummer because when you're doing like this with when you have the cardstock in there this is a much deeper cut and I got this one off Timo and I absolutely love it. It will work really well and it's the perfect one. The R7 here matches up perfectly with the notebooks. I say that and then it doesn't want to cut. There we go. So it matches up perfectly. You just line them up in there corner to corner and it cuts so beautifully and it does perfect thick papers. So that is my notebook um, and how I alter them to start with and then I'll add like mixed media and stuff on them. But that is how I start them. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.